Okay, so just a little top-up lesson on the grey water recycling. So I'm finding, because we don't have the big wetland like the Earthship Botanical Cell, where the water can just gush in and we're working with little IBC drums. The IBC drums, if entire bath or entire shower is running at really fast pace, because of the size of the drum, and this is why I'm actually seeing the value of Earthship large wetlands. But nevertheless, we want to show you how you can make a wetland from a small drum, IBC tank, by cutting it in half. But a key feature which I'm learning now is to slow the water down. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to allow, and thanks in South Africa, we're allowed to just cut our pipes and they're all exposed because of the temperature. But, you know, if your pipes are hidden in the walls, you know, or in your build, it's good to see here because this is what you'd be doing um, on your own property or in your own new home. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take the pipes from the grey water and I'm going to channel them into this drum. So you have a bath, the whole bath. This is a 200 litre drum, all part tops up, and then I'm going to run a thin pipe, not too thin, but maybe half an inch, okay, to the wetland. So instead of the whole bath just flushing into the small wetland, we're going to have it fill up the drum, and then it's slowly going to trickle out through the wetland and slowly get through the wetland. Of course, it's not going to get you a pressure and irrigation, but as you know, I've got the sump with a pump there, so it can take as long as it needs to. The, the sump, which is another one of these drums dug in deeper than, the, so there's the wetland right here. And uh, below that wetland on the levels is the sump, which is another one of these blue drums, which you see me, you know, in some of my videos. Um, and basically, that'll just trickle and slowly fill up, fill up, and then when the float switch comes up, boom! switches on the pump and the pump high pressure irrigates the garden and pumps the water to the toilet drum okay just to repeat I'm going to take the water I'm going to dump it all in here and slowly it will trickle out into the wetland and the wetland slowly because the speed is crucial if you want treatment you want to slow the water down the, w the reason that it works in an airship because the wetland is 10 of these drums in length you know or eight drums in the, in the volume of the wetland that they have and it's also much deeper. What we're going to do, we're going to slow it down and allow the plants to do the treatment. So without further waiting, this is what I'm going to do. Basically going to chop the pipe and bit by bit work it my way into this drum. You obviously want to glue it only once you've checked that everything is Correct. Now you get something like an interesting reducer, which is handy to have at you from your farm. So it's got a f made for a variety of pipes. So as you can see. It can almost fit this pipe, yeah, but you just need to be heated. But I'm going to cut this off to not to restrict the flow. I usually use a gas torch, but I've sent my gas torch to Russia. Sometimes use a bit of tape if you need, because it's low pressure, so you don't need any clamps or anything like that. I just use a bit of tape, you know, or of course you can use a clamp to tighten, which I will, but I'm just testing it all out. I don't want to do anything capital right now, as in like too solid, just testing it out.
So now there are two reasons. I could go to the shop and get a tank connector, which is a waterproof connector that you fit in from inside and outside. You tighten it with little rubber washers. It makes an absolute tight connection. But because this is above the wetland, so even if some water drips out, it's still going into, there's a wetland underneath. Because there's three sets of wetland. One here for washing machine, goes into this little guy I'll show you, and overflows into my main two IBC tanks, which is actually not the halves, I use the full tanks. But the honest problem of what's happening now, the outlet is not allowing the water to get out fast enough as it's getting in. Hence, that's why I'm doing this, okay? So the, which means that the water overflows as we let the shower and we're showering and bathing. The water overflows because it's not getting out fast enough and it's going underneath the house causing problems uh, with moisture. So what we need to do is I need to slow it down so this thing can cope with it. Okay. So because there's a wetland underneath, I'm going to cheat it. I'm just going to drill a hole through. And hammer a little piece in. I don't want to go to the shop. But between what I found is, I found this guy. Okay. For wood. And I found this uh, reducer, or I don't know what you call them, nipple. I'll show it to you all in detail. Okay. And that's about the right size. Might need to just file the hole a little bit. But as you can see, it's the right size. So it's the closest I can get. So let me show you what... <laughs> this is this is a little reducer male to male yeah I think it's an inch to a three-quarter inch or something like that then it's a little corner like that and then it, I've got a clear hose so I can see that it's all working and this thing fits in there and this thing fits in here again because there's no pressure it's just you know it's gonna do the job I know it's quite a few steps and you can do a much more professional job but again, we're trying to be on the budget and use what we have. So I've got these fittings, so why not? So let me take the camera close up. Yeah, quite close to the bottom. Hey, <laughs> it's bloody perfect. Look at that. A little plumber's wrench here. You don't even need plumber's wrench. Boom. That's it. There we go. And then I can run this. Either to this wetland or I can run it. So now I can run the end of this into the inlet of my wetland the rockery entrance as you can see as you've seen from the lesson below this as you can see from the lesson before this it's the rockery entrance this is where this needs to go which is a quick entrance into the wetland allowing the water to drop down exit at the bottom rise up as the hot water rises and then we suck it out from the bottom the cloth it's here for the soil not to go in, allowing the rocks to stay clear. So the cloth is here, allowing rocks to stay clear. Yeah, this is already like two years in operation. So there are the stones. There, there are the stones. Yeah, you can see. So the cloth is to protect soil from coming in and um, yeah and allowing the rocks to stay rocks and empty spaces to just the water just drop in so that's it but look how phenomenal the roots are doing look at all these bulbs now oh, they're prolific it's pumping out here so there's the IBC tanks you can see two IBC tanks yeah. and as I'm Almost not making it to the end bit here. Yeah? Look at that. Some creepy crawly second hand tubes. <laughs> Fits in nice and tight. Oh man, this is great.
that's it so now that it's all connected and it works now i can use some pvc weld and weld those joints in nice and tight but before i do that i'd like to just run and test that the water from the shower is getting in nicely let me go and get some water running Oh yeah, that's working. See there's a little leak here. Close it up. Yeah, and I'd like you to... So now... I'm going to buy some brackets and I'm going to install the brackets onto the wall so I can mount all the plumbing professionally. Right now I just had some string supporting it uh, at the beginning stages. And uh, yeah, we're going to mount all these pipes, connect them to the wall. But the water is coming through. And look at that. It's starting to trickle. Yeah, let's go check in our wetland. That's yeah, coming in. That's what I wanted. I wanted to reduce the flow. This is it. It's perfect. Wow, so that's quite amazing. That's the magic of DIY. Do it yourself with your own hands and create solutions that last and that treat our water in a biological way and not pollute our rivers. That's the way of the future.